Oh my friend, how far you have already come. So you decided that you want to be a designer? Huh? Well, you came to the right video. I got five things that you need to do in order to become a very successful and great designer. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is when you start out designing, just don't be like looking at everybody else's work like, oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm never going to be able to do this. I don't know what and how I'm going to get to this point. What you just have to do when you're starting your beginning stages is just design every day. No matter what, if you're going to design 10 minutes a day, that's still designing every day and it's progress every day, right? So design something every day, even though on those days when you feel like you don't want to do it, it's just going to help you build that muscle memory and a lot of different things that are going to come along with designing every day because you can go on YouTube, look at tutorials all day and le just learn from YouTube. You don't need any special type of designs, no special type of courses. Just look up tutorials, design every day and you're going to eventually start you're going to start growing your skills at a slow rate at first and then before you know it, it's going to exponentially grow and you're going to be doing insane compositions that you and your friends are going to be like yeah i did that and they're going to be like no you didn't and i'm you're just going to be like yeah i did man shut up all right so that, that's number one number two is don't be so hard on yourself right do not be so hard on yourself in your designs when you're first coming up like it's, it's easy to just say, oh man, my design is looks so crappy and I don't know how to figure anything out on Photoshop yet. This app is so complicated. When it truly is not. Nothing is really that complicated. It just takes a lot of understanding. And once you understand all of the basics, so start with the basics. That's what I would definitely say. Start with the basics. Don't start trying to do like monster collages and blah, blah, blah. Whatever, whatever you, your little heart might desire that you want to do. Don't just start doing a whole bunch of hard things at first just get the basics down and it's going to help you and just propel you so much farther if i knew that when from the beginning then i would have reached a point where i was at or the point that i'm at now a lot sooner but you know you live and you learn and i'm here to bring you guys some of those tips so just don't be too hard on yourself and start with the basics so that you your basics are going to lead to your exponential growth like we talked about in step number one okay and number three um do not worry about your followers at the beginning of your designing and really when even when you're done don't worry about your followers that does not matter it's not going to be a source of revenue unless you're really starting to get sponsorships and stuff like that so don't just try to worry about followers at the beginning like oh my gosh i wish i had more followers because this guy would blah 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 and that doesn't even make any more credit creditable things to your art having more followers so don't worry about engagement likes followers any of that nonsense because in today's society they have it they have it programmed to, for people to think oh if i have followers then that means i'm actually good at something uh no that does not mean what what's the yeah you know what i'm trying to say so don't worry about followers we got that don't be too hard on yourself and design every day all right now number four ask questions <clears throat> I was very hesitant to ask people questions at the beginning of my design journey uh, obviously because we're very insecure and we don't want to be told hey that actually doesn't look good and blah 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 stuff like that but it is definitely okay to be asking questions and uh, just wanting to get review on your work and learn from other people now the design community can be pretty toxic as people don't really want to help you out that much but you can find people like me for example in my, or people in my discord chat so make sure you guys join the discord chat and you guys can get a lot of good advice and if you ever have questions just go there and we are all here to help you okay we have built a great group to help you don't be afraid to ask questions and want to get feedback on your art because that's going to eventually get you way better than you already are all right and number five the last thing i'm going to say is challenge yourself i said start with the basics but you gotta challenge yourself every day and once you start getting down those basics don't be like okay now i know the basics i'm not gonna challenge myself anymore no challenge yourself every day those are the five tips i'm gonna give you to be a great designer and you're already on your way it's been Scope. stay scope i'm out